So let's get to Avid here. All right. So you'll see that there are 10 layers in this. These two are the music that I use. I kind of combine the music to make it richer and to give it a different feel. And then you have the sound effects that I placed where I wanted the sound effects to hit. The first thing that I did was I took one of the juice drops and I dropped it in as a background here. So let me click on it so you can see it. This is the background. So because it's the background, I put it on the lowest layer because I want everything else above it. Then what I did was I put a PNG file of this color splash where I wanted it to appear as I did my motion through the uh, effect to match up with what I was doing in the video. And as you can see, there's another one to match up with what I was doing as well. And I put that on a different layer so that it would be on top of the other one. That way it looks more realistic. Like they're adding, they're going from the back to the blue to the purple and they're moving up. Then I put my video on top of all of these layers so that I would be on top of all of the paint. And then you see the last layer I put, which I wanted on top of the video on top of me to make it look a little different. Now, the Kill Bill effect, let's get to that. What I did was I went ahead and I got to a position where I wanted the video to stop. And I split the clip there. Then I opened up, I double clicked on the clip. I went to corrections. I went to snapshot. When I did that, I clicked on snapshot. It gave me this option. And then I clicked apply. Once I did that, I had this image, but there's a problem. The image actually has green and then it has the other things behind the green screen. So what I had to do then is create a PNG file of just the subject. So the way I did that was I opened up the snapshot in Photoshop Elements. When I opened up the snapshot in Photoshop Elements, I went ahead and I used what's called the Magic Extractor to go ahead and get a clean PNG. So if I go to File, Open, Here's a PNG image I had before, or the image before was a PNG image. Brought it in here. I did image magic extractor. What I did then was I used the red. Let me make this uh, bigger. And I put the red on all the spots that I wanted to keep. Then I went to the eraser and I put blue on all the spots that I wanted to get rid of. And you can get in between, make sure you get as Good, you can change the size of what you're using so you can get to smaller areas if you need to, just to make sure you get in all the crevices and stuff. You don't have to put the dots everywhere, but as long as you get them in the places where you think it might keep the key, that's good because you wanna make sure you get all the green out. And then you click okay, or you click preview. If you click preview, you get a look at what it would look like now. And like you can see, it's just gonna be a PNG file. And then all I'm gonna have to do is crop the sides out and then I just have a PNG file of the subject in the middle. So let's go back to Avid. So once I got the PNG file, I placed it here in the middle. Two things I did. I split the clip down here also and I changed the color of the background as you can see. Now, the first thing I did on the background, if you open it up and go to add-ons and go to red giant and then go to magic bullet, you can go ahead and add the effect that you wish to add on to it. So 
So you can see here the different choices that you have on the effects and you can change it up. Use whichever one you want. There are plenty of different options here on the side for different types of effects that you can add to it to change the look and the color to make it really unique. Once you're done with that, you will hit OK. Then on the PNG file, you open that up. Do the same thing, go to add-ons, red giant, go to magic bullet. It'll open up and then once again, you find the magic bullet look that works for you. As a matter of fact, just to give you the complete thing here, you go to red giant, magic bullet, and then you will click on edit and it will bring up the magic bullet options for you to change the effect the way you want it. Now, if I double click on this file again, you see there's also a pan and zoom on here. So what I did was I created a pan and zoom so that the subject came in tight, stayed tight the whole time to this next keyframe, and then I had to go back out quickly. So you can easily copy, right click, copy the keyframe, place it where you want to. Once you get it placed where you want to, you make the adjustments. As you can see, the first keyframe, everything's at zero. The next keyframe, I went and zoomed in, and then I changed the horizontal. And then if you go to the next keyframe, you see that the settings are exactly the same as the last keyframe, because I just copied that keyframe over there. And in the last keyframe, everything's back at zero, so it goes back to where it was at the beginning, which is the spot where I'm gonna make my next motion. You have to get it back to the middle where it was before, so that it looks natural once the video starts playing again. So I also made a title. I just went ahead and used one of the uh, the titles that were in the uh, the presets, changed up the font, uh, added a edge to it, and moved the edge out offset a little bit so that you can see a good shadow of the different color on the Karate Clown wording. And then you just put your sound effects in where you want and your music and you're good to go. Now, this tutorial would have taken a very long time for me to show you the specifics on each thing on here. But if you want more info, please feel free to go ahead and comment and I'll be happy to go ahead and give you more in-depth information to help you get the effect done. There you have it. How to do the Kill Bill effect in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.